Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm gonna take you back to Spike Prime. I felt like the last video I did with the Spike Prime and the first Lego League, I didn't really show you a lot about the blocks in Scratch to help you go forward and backwards and make a turn. So in this video, I wanna go back to the basics, get you connected, and do some simple, basic Spike Prime functions. If you wanna see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay guys, so I know how it is to take this out of the box, feel completely excited, and then come to a screeching halt going, what do I do now? So for those of you just getting started with Spike Prime, I'm gonna take you through uh, charging the hub, getting connected, and then doing some simple functions like a forward, backwards, and a turn. So let's first look at charging this hub. When charging your Spike Prime robot, this red light will be on and this light will be flashing here on your hub. That's how you know you're charging. This light should turn green when everything's good. And when it's green, it is charged. Okay, and then once everything's ready, Let's go ahead into the City Shaper table and let's just find out some basic uh, programming with Scratch on how to get this guy to move forward, backwards, and make a turn. Let's go. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and take this real slow just so that you know, you're seeing everything that I'm doing. So we're gonna go ahead and power up the hub. There we go. Now you can see right now, we don't have a connection. Now I've done other videos on the Spike Prime and what I did not mention is you need to hook in the USB that comes with the Spike Prime into the hub to some device that you know you can plug a USB into. So a laptop, I use my daughter's uh, Air Mac. And once you um, update the hub, then you're able to do a wireless connection on any device. So I didn't mention that. So I'm able to connect to this hub just because I've already uh, connected this to my daughter's laptop. So let's go ahead. Um, we don't have a connection. So we're gonna go ahead and connect. So we're gonna um, press this Bluetooth. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to connect. I've already named uh, the hub when I updated it, so that name should pop up. And there it is. And that sound just meant that we are connected. And when you see that green dot, that means you are connected. So let's go ahead and just go over how you make this robot go forward. For those of you that are just like, I just want this thing to move. So we're gonna go to the pink section, which is our movement. And I am just gonna go ahead and put up there, set movement motors to C and D. And the nice thing about it is they're already in C and D. And if we wanna click here, it shows you what motor ports are being used right now that we have in our program, and that's where they're plugged into. So we have C and D, which is good. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the movement speed. So there's your 50%, which it will default to, which in this case right now I'm fine with. And then we will come up here. I just grab the move straight. And there's where we can change this to the rotations, degrees, and seconds. So you guys know me, I'm a big degrees fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to, let's change to 400 degrees. So let's review what's happening here. The motors C and D are going to go at 50% motor speed and they're gonna go straight for 400 degrees. So let's just go ahead and 
start that. And there's the 400 degrees. So, you know, you can mess around with this. If I want this to go backwards, we're just going to make that a negative 50. And it will basically go backwards. So there is basically how I would do a forwards and a backwards um, just to get going. Okay, so now if we were to add a turn into this program, so let's say we wanted to go forward for 400 degrees and then make a turn. I'm just going to grab that same block I chose Okay, so if I were to now add a turn into this program, so I wanted to go forward at 50% motor speed for 400 degrees and then wanted to add a turn, I'll just drag another block that we did or we used for that other straight. But now what happens? Ooh, I just, okay. So if you notice this built-in gyro pops up and I can turn it so that'll make it turn left. And then I can also tap there and still get the rotations, degrees, or seconds. So I'll just uh, I'll just make it the same as the forward. So it's going to go forward for 400 degrees, and then make a left turn for 400 degrees. So let's watch that. So for those of you doing an FLL mission right there, that's how you would you know possibly go up the ramp or anything that would involve a turn. So that's basically it for, you know, going forwards and backwards in the program. Okay guys, so for those of you just getting started with Spike Prime, hopefully that was a little helpful, getting you to, you know, at least get this guy moving and turning and doing certain things that we want it to do. And then, you know, obviously the bigger, more complex stuff is going to come later. But for now, just getting started. Hopefully this video helped. Okay. I am Mr. Hino for Missionals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out.